Good morning, you guys. Today, I decided to share my morning skincare routine, pregnancy edition. Ever since I got pregnant with Serena, I've been a lot more cautious about what ingredients I put on my face, so I definitely have switched my entire skincare product to clean products. Those are usually very easy to find if you shop for your skincare product at Sephora because they are labeled clean with like a green tag on there. And then I also did some research to basically figure out which ingredients to completely stay away from being pregnant. So the main two ingredients that you usually need to stay away from when you're pregnant are any retinol ingredients, which are basically vitamin A derivatives, and salic acid as well. I know a lot of people that break out usually tend to use these two ingredients, but there's other alternatives for you that are less harsh on your skin and totally pregnancy safe. But for the sake of this video, I'm gonna share with you guys exactly what morning products I use on my face. I haven't really played around with different products or changed them. There are, however, some products that I have to eliminate and find alternatives because I did end up breaking out. So let's just get into the video. First things first, I wash my face with lukewarm water and I do not use any cleanser in the morning. And that's because I always go to bed with a clean face. I usually double cleanse, especially when I have makeup or I've been out for so long. So there's no need for me to put soap on my face in the morning a cleanser on my face in the morning instead I just use lukewarm water and then I go ahead and I use a toner the toner that I've been using is from drunk elephant it feels so good on the skin and it's the only toner that I have tried that doesn't dry out my skin usually toners tend to do that because they do have alcohol in them but this specific toner from drunk elephant feels super super soft on my skin and it's completely pregnancy safe so I use that first and then after that I like to go in with a morning mist now there's two morning mists that I use initially I used to use the pixie mist I've been using it for over a year now. It's a drugstore product. It's completely affordable. It does have vitamin C in it. It wakes you up. It's kind of like a wake up mist as well. It feels super, super good on your skin. But as of lately, I have invested in Is Clinical and I have started using their Copper Firming Mist. I like using this because it does have anti-aging properties. It's pregnancy safe. And I also like using it to set my makeup whenever I do have time to apply makeup, which is like, rarely it does have a lot of antioxidants in it so when i spray it i don't only spray it on my face i make sure to spray it on my neck as well and it's also super super hydrating so usually when you use a toner your face tends to be a little bit less hydrated so this kind of brings the ph balance back into your skin so that's why i like going in with the mist after the toner after applying the mist i like to go in with vitamin c now it's been a love-hate relationship for me with vitamin c serum just because in my first and my second trimester I started breaking out with weird like red rashes all over my neck, all over my face, and I wasn't sure what the product was that caused that rash. So I started eliminating different products and it turned out it was the vitamin C for some reason. So I started experimenting with different vitamin C's and all of them kind of did the same effect on my skin. So I eliminated that for a couple of months. And then a couple of months ago, as soon as I entered my third trimester, I was at my mom's house and my mom really likes the skincare line that's called Rock. I believe that's how you pronounce it. So I guess it's more popular with mature ladies. They do sell it in Costco as well. And it's actually really, really good. So it does come in a pack of two. So I just decided to try it out and I loved how it felt on my skin. I tried it out, tested it out for a week, did not break out whatsoever. So I reincorporated vitamin C into my skincare and I'm so happy about it because I love, love vitamin C products. I think they have amazing benefits to your skin. So I go in with the vitamin C after my copper mist and then after that, I do apply my eye cream. My absolute favorite eye cream has been Taksha. It's been that for about a year now. This is like the second bottle that I use. As you guys can see, it's almost completely empty. It is so hydrating for your under eye. And when I do apply it, I like to tap in with my ring finger right over here. And then I also apply a little bit right under my eyebrows, like my brow bone right over here okay next up i do go in with my face moisturizer the face moisturizer that i've been using for a while is also from drunk elephant it's super hydrating it feels good on my skin haven't really felt the need to switch to something else because i'm really really happy with that product in general drunk elephant is probably one of my favorite safe skincare brands this entire process takes me about two minutes in the morning so i know it sounds like it's a lot of product but it's really not and then after 
apply my SPF 50. I have been so bad with applying SPF the past couple of years and recently now that I'm getting into my late 20s, I've really been on top of applying SPF, especially because I know all the damages that the sun can do to your skin. And then growing up, I used to remember my mom always applies sunscreen to her hands. And I never knew why she did that. Like she would apply sunscreen to her hands and then she would also wear gloves as she's driving. And, and I thought it was like the weirdest thing in the world. And now that I'm older, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm totally going to do that because my hands have been super dry from the Vegas weather. So SPF is super, super, super important. I usually apply my CC cream because it's kind of like, it is an SPF, it does have serum in it. And then it also will give my skin a really nice natural look before i end this video i do want to talk about a few beauty tools that i do use at home i use those in the morning usually and they're very affordable and you guys can slowly start incorporating them into your skincare routine i will be honest i do not use them on a daily basis but whenever i feel like i do want to give my skin some extra love i do incorporate these three products the first one is my ice roller this is something that I got off of Amazon about a year and a half ago, and I really, really, really love it. So sometimes when I wake up in the morning, I feel like I'm super, super puffy, so this helps kind of depuff my skin, obviously on a clean face. So once my face is totally clean, before I apply any product, I like to use this for a couple of seconds in the morning, like 45 seconds, I pretty much just apply it right over here, kind of along my jawline, and then a little bit onto my forehead. And then once I'm done, I just clean it up and then put it back in the freezer. The second beauty tool that I've invested in recently is from Nurse Jamie, and it's this beauty roller right here. So what I like using this with is when I do have my vitamin C serum on, and I do have a couple of seconds to myself. I kind of like to massage my skin with this. It says that it helps lift your skin and make you look a little bit more radiant and younger. It had great reviews on it, so I decided to kind of invest in it. And I do tend to use it once or twice a week, even though it is recommended to kind of use it every day, but I just ain't got time to do that, you know? But I do like this tool. The last tool is something that I don't necessarily use in the morning, unless I'm having like a self-care type of morning routine which is rare but i thought it's worth mentioning because i've been obsessed with it since covid hit i've been doing a lot of like at home facials and stuff like that and i did invest in this steamer this steamer is so good you guys because it helps open up your pores so whenever my face is totally clean i obviously make sure that my face is cleansed out i put on a steamer and then that helps open up my pores so i can remove any blackheads do any extractions to my skin and then i go in with the rest of the skincare products that i mentioned to you guys so not necessarily part of my morning routine but i wanted to throw it in there for you guys because i think you would totally appreciate it in case anyone is in the market for like a facial steamer all these products i am going to link for you guys down below so feel free to check them out and if you guys are interested in an evening skincare routine pregnancy edition let me know in the comments below and i'll film that next i'll see you guys next week bye